these lights today. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a fantastic September. This, of course, is my September extras video where I'm gonna be telling you a little bit about what I've got up to this month. Although, to be honest, I feel like I didn't train all that much this month. I don't know if that's just because I've been busy with work or if I've been a bit lazy. I don't feel like I've been lazy. But anyway, I did have a couple of sessions down in Basingstoke. To be honest, I've probably started off this video with a little montage from that. I think that's what I'm planning to do. So you've probably seen some clips from there already. But if I've got any left over, I will insert those now. <laughs> I'm a, I don't know why I'm, I'm afraid of hitting this and the one up that is dead, but you know? It's really good, yeah? yeah? so so nice to train with Spencer Clift again because we used to train together all the time when I was living down in Southampton and I mean we used to do a bit of partner stunting together in fact we had our own YouTube channel at one point in fact I'm pretty sure it's still out there on the internet so if you want to go and check that out please do <laughs> uh, but yeah it really made me miss old times actually just because it brought back a lot of memories from when I was training down in Southampton before free running was my career and as much as free running is still my passion and still something that I love so so much it is different when you've turned your passion into your career because now it's also your work if that makes sense and back then it was just like it didn't matter it wasn't it wasn't pressurized not that it's really pressurized now I don't know what I'm trying to say but it was very nostalgic training with him and Hey, Spencer, if you're watching this, we need to train together more. I really, really, really enjoyed training with you. Oh, I feel emotional now. <laughs> I feel like you can actually see my face getting sweaty under these lights. But I can't open the window because the planes are really loud. You see my dilemma? I also had a really fun training session at Slough Parkour Park with Fizz, another person I actually don't get to train with as often as I would like to, just because 
she's super busy with work, I'm busy, and then, you know, it's hard to find time to train with the people you really want to train with sometimes. But we did get a chance to train together. Um, we didn't do too much actually, but we had one little challenge, um, both doing like a wall trick and then trying to get up to the top of the wall. I let the side down a couple of times, as you'll see now. <laughs> So rewinding to the start of the month, I started off this month in Rome with Eric. We were both working on a video out there with Sergei Valiev. Um, I can't really share anything of that with you. Oh, I can share the clip that I already posted on Instagram. I was happy with that one actually. And in the shoot that we did, I did that on concrete, which I was really pleased with. Um, but that's all I can really share with you about that for now. I do have a vlog coming from that trip though. So keep an eye out for that. I just have to wait until the video that we were filming is out before I can upload that. I feel like that's kind of all I have to report from the month though, to be honest. I feel like I must have done more than that, but nothing's coming to me. I guess I have been pretty busy with work. And speaking of which, I do have a stunt coming up that involves me doing some handstand stuff. So I've been working on my handstands a little bit recently. So perhaps I'll insert a little handstand clip for you as if you haven't seen enough clips of me trying to do handstands. So moving on then to my favorites for the month and just quickly before I talk about these two items, I do wanna point out that these brands have sent me these products, but I haven't been paid to talk about them. I haven't got any deals with them going on where I need to promote these products to you guys. They're just things that I happen to have been sent very kindly and I've really enjoyed using them and think you actually might be interested in hearing about them because I like them, so you might like them too, you know? Uh, yeah, so anyway, moving on. The first one is this. What is this, I hear you ask? Well, this is a third person view mount. I feel like that's the right thing I just said. It'll be in the description below anyway. Um, and this is by a company called Sail Video Systems. And I first used one of these with Cloudy Voiku. Um, we went and shot some stuff around South Bank and Croydon. I don't know if you remember, I put some stuff up on Instagram quite a while ago now, but I'll insert those here somewhere. Um, yeah. So basically how this works is you strap this around yourself here. Oh, why do I never remember to put my phone on silent before I start filming? Hmm. Um, and then you put a camera on the back here and it will film you doing what you're doing. You can have it on the front filming you this way or just filming what you're looking at I guess if you want um, or you can have it on the back there are actually other attachments so if you want it to be sort of bending around the side and looking at you from like a different angle you can do that too uh, you can stick any camera that has one of these kind of oh that's not going to focus there it is but I think actually there are options to attach a mount to this if your camera has a different mount I've just said mount way too many times in one sentence. But anyway, uh, I've personally been using my 360 camera on this. Actually, I could talk to you about my new 360 camera as well because I've been enjoying using that as well this month, but it's all the way over there and I can't be bothered to go and get it. So just so you know, I've been using the new Ricoh Theta 5 camera. Um, I've put up some content on Instagram with that. But anyway, I've also attached this to the back of this and created little tiny planet videos with it, which I've really enjoyed doing. I think it's just a little bit of fun. Maybe it's a little bit gimmicky, but I enjoy doing that, so. Now, the second item I wanted to talk to you about, item, why do I keep saying item? It sounds so weird. Product, I guess, is this. Now, I did feature this briefly in my flip out vlog that I put up recently, where Eric went out on a run using this. And I also, I think I put up an Instagram story or something, and I had quite a few people message me being like, what on earth is that? You look like a psycho. Oh, my vlogging camera just beeped because I'm actually making a little behind the scenes of this video. Just gonna go and turn that on again. Okay, be right back. I'm back. <laughs> this is weird. It's like I've got a video of me videoing myself. Like how vain am I right now? Seriously. But anyway, in answer to those people's messages, although I think I did answer everyone, 
individually. Um, this is a high altitude training mask. Now, I'm not too sure of the science behind how this mask works. I've seen mixed reviews about them online. All I can tell you is that when I try and run with this on or go on the Stairmaster at the gym or just on a cross trainer or any, basically, you get the gist. I don't need to keep naming all of the different types of cardio you can do. It makes everything 10 times harder. Like, I will go for a five minute run with this and feel like I've been on a 20 minute run. Like, it just makes things so much harder, especially if you've got it on a high setting. So if it will focus, you can have it on a low setting, one, two, three, four, and it gets harder and harder to breathe air in the higher up you put it. So I'll normally start with it quite low and I'll get a little bit confident and put it a bit higher and then I'll die and I'll put it back down. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, as I said, I don't know the science of how well this actually works and how much it does mimic high altitude training, but it works well for me. So I've enjoyed using this. And if you guys wanna push yourself a bit with your cardio training, I think the idea is that it's meant to increase your lung capacity by training with this, then um, yeah, you should try it out. Let me just quickly put it on for you so you can see what it looks like. So yeah, this is it. The one downside of it is that if you wear it in the gym, you do look like a bit of a psycho. Oh my gosh, it's even hard to talk with this thing on. Um, <laughs> I just went to breathe in, I was like, I should take this off. I'm even hotter now. Why did I do this to myself? And now my face is probably not only slightly shiny with sweat, but also with water vapor from my own breath. Grim, right? Did I have anything else to say this month? I don't think so. I feel like this has been quite a short video. Maybe it hasn't, because I always think that it's gonna be a normal length video and then it's ridiculously long and I have spent ages cutting everything out. <sighs> I actually still haven't quite fully recovered from trying to vlog with this on. Okay, I'm gonna go and turn my phone on. Although actually I'm gonna end the video so I don't need to. I'll see you next time, guys.